When is it time to move on to a new job? Now, this is a question I'm asked a lot. A lot of us have jobs, have opportunities, but maybe we've been there for a while. Maybe we're not sure what it takes. Now, I want to tell you this. Hang around till my last reason, because this to me is the very best reason that there is. So what we're going to talk about, number one, is when do you know that it's time? When do you feel like, hey, now might be the very best time for me to move on from this company. And one of my best reasons, you may not fit in there. If you notice that other people are moving up, other people are getting opportunities, maybe you just don't fit in there anymore. Maybe the culture of the company is not right for you. Now, I've had people that work for me that right after they started, I realized, you know what? They don't fit in here well with the other people. Now, I'd always try to make it work. I'd always try to keep them around. But to be honest, if you're that plumber and you realize, look, I don't fit in here. I don't work well with the other plumbers. The other plumbers don't work well with me. And I use the word plumbers, but to be honest, any of you, it doesn't matter what trade you're in. Plumber, electrical, HVAC, roofing, it doesn't matter. If you worked at a place that you were the square peg, people kept trying to put you in a round hole. That's not a good position for you to be in. Now, Companies can change over time too. It may have been a great company at one point, but maybe you've learned new things. Maybe you've grown. Maybe you've moved up and there's just not room for you there. If you don't fit in at a company, that can be a great time to start looking for a new job. Now, don't just quit. Start looking before you leave. It's always nice to have another paycheck coming in before you give up the one that you've got. And I know I've, I've done that before. Don't make that same mistake. It's really easy to walk away from a job, but then when you walk out and think, oh, wait, there is no paycheck coming in this week, then you kind of get desperate. Don't look for a job when you're desperate. Once you figure out that you don't fit in at a company anymore, start looking at your options. Start looking at the opportunities that are out there. And then, and only then, do you go in and start applying. Because trust me, these people may want to call your current employer and say, hey, why is Roger leaving you to come to work for me? Reason number two, and this is always a good one, there's a better opportunity. Now, a lot of times in the commercial industry especially, but even in residential, you find out about companies that have been awarded this big project. Or you find out of a residential company that's trying to grow. They're starting to market. They're starting to advertise on TV. And this is something you've never seen them do before. When you see an opportunity like that, it may be a good idea just to reach out and say, hey, just check in to see what you're offering. Now, if you're in commercial and you can run big multi-million dollar projects, man, the opportunities could be amazing. And just talking to them to say, hey, I'm not really looking right now. I'm just hearing good things about you. So I really just wanted to reach out and say, man, what all are y'all doing? What are you doing right? What are you doing for your employees? And see where that conversation goes. Now, nobody said it's going to go anywhere. And you never once told them, hey, I'm looking for a new job. But there's nothing wrong with reaching out, finding out who the labor manager is, who the owner is, who's in charge of hiring. And just say, hey, I just wanted to talk to you and find out what y'all are doing over there because I'm hearing really good things about you. That initial conversation can be amazing. That initial conversation can lead to job opportunities that maybe you weren't looking for. And are you even looking at what other companies are doing? Are you looking at what companies are growing? Are you looking at what companies are getting the bigger jobs, the bigger projects in your area? And a lot of times you can just find out stuff like that by going to the supply house. Hey, man, what's going on? Who's busy? Who's just tearing it up? It's like, oh, gee, we see XYZ Plumbing Company in here every day now. And they got new people and new vans and, and new this and new that. It's always nice just to check and see what's out there. But also that conversation can just be an introduction. Hey, Mr. Johnson, just wanted to let you know I've heard about your company. He says, Roger, I've heard of you. I'd like to speak to you. Well, let's just talk and see what's going on. Would you like to have breakfast one day? Anytime you can put yourself in front of the hiring people at other companies could lead to great opportunities. Even if it's not right then, maybe it's a year or two years or three years later. I'm not even out in the truck anymore. And I've still got companies that I talk to every now and then just to see how they're doing, what's going on. And if there's anything that I can do to help them, trust me, there's always people looking for jobs. And there's always people 
looking to hire people. And my third way to know when it's time to leave, somebody needs you for another project. Now, I've been lucky to be in this position, and it's a great position to put yourself in. Become a specialist. Be able to run big jobs. Be able to run and get them done on time, under budget, and with everybody going home safe every day. Things like this really add up. Things like this really matter. So to be able to be able to run those big projects puts you in a unique position. When I got in the union, after a while, I tended to bounce around. I didn't stay at one company for a long time. I was almost always invited to go to work for another company. So what would happen is I would be working on a project. Now, the first one, I realized I was outgrowing it and I was looking for new opportunities. So I did go talk to another company. But then just a few years later, company number one called me back and said, hey, look, we've got a project we need you on. We require your special skills. There were certain things about me, about the relationships that I had with general contractors, the way that I got things done. There were certain things about me that certain companies wanted. So when I would go to them, it would be, well, look, I need more money. I need more vacation. I need more holidays. I need more whatever it is. I need more benefits. It's got to be worth it for you to move. That's why this is the best way to realize it's time to leave a company. Because after I did, or after I left company number two and went back to number one, a couple of years later, company number two calls back. Hey, by the way, we need you for this position. I said, look, I mean, I'm really happy where I'm at, but we can talk. Sitting and having those conversations, having lunch, having breakfast, having dinner, whatever it is, can be a great way just to find out what's going on. What does the opportunity look like? One of the times I left and went to a company, I literally sat down with the vice president of the company wanting me to come to work for him. He says, look, this is what I can offer you. And he slides this paper across to me at breakfast. And I look at it and say, man, this is great, but I can't do this. He says, what do you mean you can't do this? This is a great offer. I said, I understand, but I make more than this now. And to be honest, I did. He said, he said, well, look, think about it over the weekend and call me back. Well, I never called back. So the next Friday, he calls me again. He says, hey, I never heard from you. I said, man, I told you I can't do that. He said, let's go have lunch. So I met him for lunch. But when I went this time, I had topped up what I could leave for. I knew that he wanted me. I knew that he needed me. So literally, I slid a piece of paper across that when he looked at it, he said, I can't do this. I said, I understand. So we're good. And man, he'd look at the paper and he'd make a note and he'd look at the paper and he'd make another note. And eventually he said, you know what? Let's do this. I got the money. I got a new set of tires every year. I got a gas card and I got more vacation. So put yourself in a position where you're wanted and you can get better opportunities for yourself. And to me, that's the best way to know when it's time to change companies. Guys, thank you so much for being a part of this community. I love that. If you haven't checked out the Wakefield app, please do go check it out. And if you like this video, I definitely think you're going to like this one.